one of the most horrific war crimes committed during the Second World War, saw a woman who was fighting for her beliefs, burned inside of a crematoria oven alive, inside of an Italian concentration camp. To fight against the status quo and government in certain countries during the 1930s and 1940s was incredibly dangerous, and there were many accounts of women being tortured and treated horrifically if they resisted against militaries such as the German army. One young teenage girl, Leporadic, would be tortured and then executed inside of a village for her actions in sabotage and firing upon German soldiers as she was a member of the partisans. But she would then be paraded in front of a huge crowd as a German army executioner secured a noose around her neck. It was a shocking spectacle for all those to see and Leporadic is remembered in history as a defiant young girl who stood up to the might and evil of the Nazis. But there was a woman who suffered a similar horrific fate in Italy, but her execution was one which was medieval and horrific. It showed the brutality of the regime that was being run by Mussolini, and the story of Virginia Tonelli is one which certainly deserves to be more well known. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the Italian woman burned alive, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Virginia Tonelli was born on the 13th of November 1903, and she was born into a rather poor family. She had many siblings and her father worked as a bricklayer, but in 1915 tragedy struck as he caught typhus and died. Because of this the family was short on money, and when she finished school, Virginia then worked as a seamstress before she began a career as a nurse. In particular she was interested in looking after children, and she went to work inside of the children's hospital in Venice. But in 1930, she joined the Italian Communist Party, and she was rather politically aware, but at this time there was a fear of communists across Europe, and in particular, the Italian Communist Party were forced underground, as the enemy ideology of fascism gripped Italy. Benito Mussolini would, in the years before with his National Fascist Party, march on Rome, and he was then appointed the Prime Minister by the Italian King, and he became the youngest person to hold this position at the time. But Mussolini and his fascist followers would remove all political opposition, forcing those who did not believe in the ideas of his party underground, and he would then become the dictator of Italy and would establish a totalitarian state. Mussolini would, of course, inspire Adolf Hitler, and the pair would later become close friends, and with this Hitler and Mussolini allied their two nations during the Second World War closely. But fascism and communism were direct enemies, and because of the secret police in Italy, it was very dangerous at the time to be a communist, and many would face arrest. This is why Virginia Tonelli and her group had to remain in the shadows, but in 1933, with everything which was going on politically in Italy, she decided to move to Toulon in France. Four years later she married Pietro Zampolo, who was a member of the Italian Communist Party, and he would later go to fight in the Spanish Civil War, to support the Republic, but he would be wounded, and would then be sent back to Italy, where he was then locked up. But in Toulon, Tonelli had risen throughout the ranks, and her reputation was a strong one. She became a professional revolutionary, and she would establish a house where many communists would use to meet, and she would also allow many fellow communists to stay in her home, when they moved between different countries. However, as the Second World War erupted, the Nazis would have a greater impact and influence upon Italy, due to the close alliance with Hitler that Mussolini had. The Nazis would deal with communists brutally, and would throw them inside of concentration camps, torture them, or even execute them swiftly. It was a dangerous time to be a communist, and Italy itself would suffer during the Second World War. The army was ill-prepared for an all-out war, and thousands of Italian soldiers fought in the war, and came back wounded or not at all, as the army was not good enough or as good as others. Some turned against the war effort and became dissenting towards Mussolini, and with this many would join resistance factions such as the Partisans. But in 1943, fascism in Italy had been destabilised, with the issues surrounding the war, and with this there would be political turmoil ahead for Mussolini. He would later be voted out of power by his own government and imprisoned. However, being a key player in the Italian Communist Party, Virginia Tonelli was ordered by the party's leaders to come back to Italy and return to Castelnovo, where she distributed anti-Mussolini and anti-fascist propaganda. 
This was a move done to try and further destabilise local fascist governments. But because of this, Tonelli was arrested. But when Mussolini fell from power and the dictatorship crumbled, Virginia of Tonelli was released. However, quickly after, the Germans occupied the country. They were then in the north, established a Nazi puppet state known as the Italian Social Republic. Mussolini was freed from captivity in the Grand Sasso Raid, and he would then take control of this. But inside of the region, Virginia Tonelli would work as a partisan, and would resist whenever she could. She went underground and she engaged with the Italian resistance, and she was given the codename Luisa. She would deliver propaganda materials and collect weapons and other materials to support the partisans in the region of Veneto and Frulli. This was of course still very dangerous, and she was not worried about the German army or the SS or Gestapo finding her and hunting her. But on the 19th of September 1944, Virginia Tonelli was arrested, and she was captured transporting partisan documents from Udine to Trieste with another partisan. She was then held in prison by fascists, and would be tortured over a prolonged period inside of the prison. She was tortured to try and extract information, and over a period of 10 days, she was subjected to horrific violence. She was beaten very badly, but every time she was attacked, she would not give over any information at all to the fascists. Her torturers could not break her, and because of this, she was then sent to the Riseria di San Saba concentration camp. This was a Nazi concentration camp in the north of Italy, which had been set up as a detention and killing centre for political prisoners. It was also a site where Jews would be processed before they were sent to other camps such as Auschwitz, where they would be exterminated as soon as they got to the camp. The German forces would use it as a place to exterminate and detain, and it's believed that over 3,000 people were killed at the camp, and thousands more were imprisoned and then moved on to other sites. But inside the camp was a crematoria and cremation facilities, and these were the only ones which had been built inside of a concentration camp in Italy, and they would be used to deal with the bodies of many who were executed. But because of the frustrations involving Virginia Tonelli and her lack of cooperation, the guards of Rosaria dan San Saba would take out their frustrations upon her, and they would execute her in a brutal and barbaric way. On the 29th of September 1944, Virginia Tonelli was brought from her prison cell into the crematoria for what would be one of the most barbaric and brutal executions of the whole of the Second World War. She was not to be hanged or to be shot on a firing range, and these were considered more straightforward and humane execution methods compared to what Tonelli faced. The prison guards bound her, or they held onto her and wrestled her, but then inside of the crematoria, the oven was opened. Virginia Tonelli was forced inside of the burning oven alive, and with this she was burned alive. Her remains were never found, as within seconds she would be killed, and her remains turned into ash. At the end of the Second World War, Virginia Tonelli would be awarded the Gold Medal of Military Valour, and a plaque dedicated to her in Castelnovo stated, in memory of those who did not fold, and of Virginia Tonelli, Luisa, who when the earth was under the Nazis and fascists, foot secretly spoke, convinced fought. Captured, she silently transformed the hatred of people and silently died at the Riziera di San Saba. O oh, you who go through your peaceful work, remember to remember. The execution method of burning women alive was used in other places during the Second World War. It was of course comparable in history with the witchcraft burnings, but the Germans would also perform this inside of a concentration camp when they punished four female spies who worked with Special Operations Executive in France and with the French resistance to this sort of execution. But the story of Virginia Tonelli and her execution is one which was horrifically brutal and she would be slaughtered inside of a concentration camp and she refused to give over any information to her enemies. She was a woman of principle and she tried to destabilise the fascist government at times and would be arrested for her resistance activities. But like many women who were caught as spies or were caught working in the resistance during the Second World War, she would be subjected to a horrific execution and she is today remembered as the Italian female partisan who was burned alive. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe and once again, thank you so much for watching.